So, Jill, I ran those retirement numbers we talked about. Okay, yeah, I see it here. And I'm going to post that report on your screen. How did Edward Jones come to manage over $800 billion in assets? Got it. So I think there are a couple of approaches we can take here. Through FaceTime on your terms. So that's interesting. You know, we had spoken about that before. It's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. It's time for the Edward Jones Tiger Cage. And joining us this week inside the Edward Jones Tiger Cage is freshman guard Cullen Van Leer. Cullen, you're from uh, Pacific, Missouri, in-state kid. Give us an idea of what kind of a thrill this is for you to live out a lifelong dream and play for your home state school. Uh, it's, a, it's a big thrill coming in. Uh, I've been to Mizzou Arena so many times for the high school state basketball, and now to play with the Mizzou jersey on, it's, uh, it's a real honor. How long have you been a Mizzou fan? Take us back to the beginning of your fandom, maybe some of the guys you rooted for growing up. Uh, I've been a fan ever since I can remember. I remember my dad's team in high school used to play played Lafayette and they played Matt Lawrence and I remember when he was here so um, it's been a pretty long time as long as I can pretty much remember basketball I've been a Mizzou fan. Matt Lawrence pretty good shooter you're a nice shooter in your own right tell us how you developed your jump shot and how it got to be so good and smooth like it is today. Uh, it has to go back to my dad just start me when I would guess before I can even remember we always started with the uh, Stuff I could shoot correctly, so keeping the rim low, smaller ball, and then gradually just increasing to where I could shoot normally with, and then even farther back than most people. See, I've never heard that before. I think most people think that the adjustable goals are so kids can have fun dunking, but it sounds like you guys used it to keep the mechanics of your jump shot yeah, correct. Correct. We, uh, we tried to, he always wanted me to, so it wasn't me throwing the ball at the basket, it was uh, correct form, and he would always, but. Uh, so I think that's really helped me with correct form because you see some people just have weird and it's just because they develop bad habits when they're little and they can't get rid of them. So creating the good habits helped me. You can tell he's the son of a coach, can't you? Uh, as you go through your freshman year here, what are some of the biggest things that you're focusing on trying to improve upon every single day? I'm trying to just improve my game all around. Everybody thinks of me as a shooter, so I'm just trying to develop ball handling, quickness and stuff like that to help me improve my game all around along with continuing to be more consistent shooting the ball. As you look forward this season, what are some of the, the main team goals that you have? Where would you like to see this team focus on as they move forward, starting with South Carolina on Saturday? Uh, hopefully we can go to South Carolina and put a good performance together. Um, and then for the rest of the year, we just need to continue to grow as a team and get better. We're young, we need to continue to bond and uh, stay together through tough times and good times. And then hopefully we can carry that over for the next four years. One of the youngest teams in the country and one of the better freshmen on this team, Cullen Van Leer. Thanks for stopping by the Edward Jones Tiger Cage. Thank you. Big thanks to Cullen and big thanks to our sponsor, Edward Jones, a proud supporter of Mizzou Athletics. For more information or to find your nearest Edward Jones financial advisor, visit edwardjones.com. Hey, Dad. Hey, sweetie. That was your first week. It's long. <laughs> It'll get better. I'm at the Edward Jones office, like Sue suggested. Thanks for doing this, Dad. So I thought it might be time to talk about a financial strategy. <laughs> you mean pay him back. <laughs> Knowing your future is about more than just you. So let's start talking about your long-term goals. Multiplied by 13,000 financial advisors. It's a big deal, and it's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing.